Attack on Titan, 10 Best Gabby Quotes Gabby was one of the most controversial Attack on Titan characters, but she also saw some of the greatest development, as seen through these quotes. Throughout the majority of Attack on Titan, fans were led to believe that parody was the only setting the manga would have and that the plot would revolve solely on the Eldians on the island. However, this wasn't the case as the truth about the series' world was revealed, and with it, a lot of new characters were introduced. One of these new characters was Gabby Braun. Reiner's cousin, who played an important role in the manga's last two arcs. She had a lot of great development from wanting to be Marley's best warrior and kill everyone in parody to teaming up with the Survey Corps to save the entire world. She's had many great quotes in the manga, with these ten being the best. 10. I brought her down. But I've only rid the world of a few. Our true revenge for what they did to our home is yet to come. We will not lose to those cheating devils. Gabby became one of fans' most hated characters when she killed Sasha. One of the most beloved soldiers in the Survey Corps, and how the fans felt towards her was nothing compared to Sasha's loved ones. When she was brought to parody, Gabby, under the fake name Mia, confronted Nicolo, a Marleyan who cooked for Sasha and developed strong feelings for her. Not knowing the relationship that Nicolo and Sasha had, Gabby thought that the Marleyan would be on her side and confessed to killing Sasha. Which led to him and Sasha's family finding out who she really was. 9. I killed one of your comrades. I beat a guard unconscious with a rock. But that boy, Falco, didn't. Please, let him be your prisoner. You only need to kill me, right? After the confrontation that Gabby had with Sasha's family and Nicolo, Mikasa and Armin rescued her. Still believing that Eldians were devils at the time, she was confused by their actions and told them that Falco, her closest friend and another warrior candidate, was innocent so that only she would be punished. Armin told her that they wouldn't kill her and that she reminded him of Aaron, right before the founding titan himself walked in. 8. What makes me different from all of you is I'm prepared. Prepared to carry the fate of all Eldians on my shoulders and slaughter all the devils on that island who've caused us so much suffering. Full quote, what makes me different from all of you is I'm prepared. Prepared to carry the fate of all Eldians on my shoulders and slaughter all the devils on that island who've caused us so much suffering. Every last one of them. I'll win that fight and prove it to the whole world. That the only Eldians left alive are good Eldians. I'm not going to lose. I'll free everyone from the internment zone. This was one of the first things that Gabby said when she was first introduced during the battle between Marley and the Mideast Allied forces, and this quote defines exactly who she was at the time. Gabby was determined to do anything for her and her loved ones, even if she had to kill thousands of people. And seeing as how she played a huge role in defeating the Mideast Allied forces moments later, she proved that she had what it would take. 7. Seems like you haven't admitted your sins. Have you already forgotten the brutal atrocities the people of this island committed against the world? An Eldian can only start on the path to final atonement and they fully understand their sins. After Gabby and Falco escaped from their cell, they met Kaya and the rest of Sasha's family, not knowing who they were at the time. Kaya tried to become friends with the warrior candidates despite how Gabby felt about her. Gabby even tried to get Kaya to agree with her beliefs and make her feel guilty for things that had nothing to do with her, and as Kaya tried to explain that she and her loved ones were innocent. Gabby's own beliefs were challenged more than they had ever been before. 6. Because I'm an Eldian born in this internment zone, people would spit at the sight of me walking around town. I had a lot of awful experiences here, but that's exactly why I tried so hard. Full quote, because I'm an Eldian born in this internment zone, people would spit at the sight of me walking around town. 
I had a lot of awful experiences here, but that's exactly why I tried so hard. I wanted to prove to the world that Eldians are good. I was able to make it this far because I believed that eventually the day would come when I wouldn't need this armband. But now, it's all been wiped out. This internment zone, whatever you want to say about it, it's still my home. The people I love live here. If someone tramples over it, I'm not forgiving them. When Aaron and the Survey Corps invaded Marley, Gabby witnessed her home become a battlefield, and two of her closest friends were murdered. Because of this, she now had a personal reason to hate the Eldians on parody and decided to get her revenge by sneaking onto the Survey Corps ship. She said these words to Falco, expecting to never see him again, and was shocked that he went with her. She ended up killing Sasha on the ship but was captured before she could kill any of the other soldiers. 5. First Mr. Zeke Masterminds an attack on Marley. This time, it's you. What have we been fighting for? I thought that if the world recognized you were good Eldians that someday Eldia would be free. You're the same as Zeke. Another traitor. In order to get their revenge, Marley's military decided to sneak into parody, kill their enemies, and save the warrior candidates. Part of their plan was to have Peek pretend to be on Eren's side so she could lure him to her comrades. But in order to do that, she had to trick Gabby into thinking she was a traitor. Gabby was devastated by this, especially since Zeke had already betrayed them, but was relieved when she later learned the truth. 4. I'm the devil. I've killed a lot of people. All to earn praise. That's my devil. When Gabby learned that the Eldians on parody weren't the devils she always believed they were. She saved Sasha's family. Because she had tried to kill Gabby when she learned who she was, Kaya felt bad and thought of herself as a devil, only to be shocked when Gabby said these words. Admitting that she was wrong the entire time and that being good or evil is actually based on one's actions rather than their race. 3. Not only did I drag Falco into all of this, he saved me so many times. He's done nothing but save me, when I'm supposed to be at the top of our unit. I can't just run for it after all the trouble I've caused him. Despite Gabby making so many mistakes in the beginning of her character arc, Falco was always there for her. He tried to help her in many ways, especially when they were taken to parody. At first, Gabby didn't appreciate his actions, but once she realized that she was wrong, she wanted to do everything that she could to help Falco in return. 2. There weren't any devils on this island. No. Just humans. I finally understand how Reiner feels. Full quote, there weren't any devils on this island. No. Just humans. I finally understand how Reiner feels. All these people we'd never even met before, we just decided they were devils. Ever since the moment I climbed onto that airship, it's been the same thing over and over. I'm sorry. Falco. You knew, but I still dragged you into this. Gabby had always wanted to become the Armored Titan so that she could be closer to Reiner, especially since she didn't fully understand how he felt since he returned to Marley from parody. However, once she went there herself, she understood the pain that he felt for so long. Both of them were convinced that the people in parody were evil and would have done anything to kill them. Until they learned that they were kind, innocent people that deserved to live just as much as the Eldians in Marley. 1. I'm sorry. Our wish was to slaughter all of you on parody. For the world to accept us and forgive us. Full quote, I'm sorry. Our wish was to slaughter all of you on parody. For the world to accept us and forgive us. That's why it was always our hope for this island, for the devils to go away. And now mom, dad, everyone in Liberio is going to be taken away because of it. I'm sorry. I know just how shameless it is of me to ask, 
but we need all of you to help us. Please, won't you lend us your strength? When the warrior unit and survey corps teamed up. Reiner told Jean how he had killed Jean's closest friend from their training days, Marco. However, once Jean had heard enough and Reiner kept talking about how he felt guilty. Jean attacked him. Gabby tried to protect her cousin only to get hurt herself and begged the people she tried to kill to help her. At first, Jean walked away, but he agreed to help them the following morning and apologized to Gabby. After years of hating without understanding each other, the soldiers and warriors put their differences aside to save the world.